In the last few years, we've seen AI chatbots, AI art, and AI image recognition. I thought at the time, eh, this is pretty cool. Everyone around me was talking about it like it was the next big thing, and yet nobody had any fucking idea how this shit even worked. I'm gonna come. Nobody asked where we were going with the technology, and now we have AI deepfakes, AI girlfriends, AI speech synthesizers, AI surveillance, AI drones and weapons, AI algorithms that control what you watch, and clearly a huge economic issue where people are losing their jobs to AI every Every day. I mean, all I see on Instagram nowadays is AI memes that can make videos look like this. Fuck. Uh, Messi uh, got me pregnant. I bet you didn't expect to see this. But honestly, just imagine the genetics this kid will have. Bruh. And as funny as the content is, it's fucking terrifying. In this specific instance, before AI, you would have had to do a Ronaldo impression, create the images, edit the video, and write the captions yourself. It would have taken a good amount of time and it would have been pretty fucking funny. <laughs> the only issue is that this wouldn't have taken more than two hours to make. Like, guys, we are literally on the fast track of destroying our society and I don't really hear anyone <sighs> talking about this with any panic. No one's nice. kicking and screaming. No one's doing anything. On a purely digital perspective, like I said, we can now make fake videos and images of people and they look fucking real. We can make them say things they didn't, we can literally steal their identity with a push of a button. At least back in the day you used to have to learn how to master Photoshop prior to making such malicious content or had to figure out how to socially engineer your way into a SIM card. You had to be on your villain Sigma grind set, but it doesn't matter now. Like. These AI bots don't have a conscience. They can't morally say no to things that they're engineered to make. Here's some nightmare fuel for you. Let's say you're a parent and you have a daughter in high school. Already with Snapchat, you're pretty worried about your daughter sending naughty images to the boys in their class. But those cheeky boys won't need to get the real photos of your daughter in compromising situations. All they need to do is take normal clothed photos of your daughter, input it into a make her naked algorithm, and voila! This is now technically pornography of a minor, I guess? And yeah, this exists. Or here, another example. Let's say Karen doesn't particularly like you. She thinks all young people are lazy and she's sick and tired of you typing 100 words per minute faster than her. And let's say she wants to get you fired. Well, all she needs to do is record you speaking for a bit. I'm not a fairy. I mean, sure, I fuck around with dudes, but I'm not a fairy. Input your voice into a synthesizer, and she can now send an anonymous email to HR of you saying some no-no words. At the moment, we think it's all memes, but like any other technology, the bad is already happening. We just don't hear about it. As soon as this starts having actual effect on powerful people, our lives are over. World governments are going to crack down on our freedom, and honestly I believe this is all happening strictly because they are worried about AI, as if they aren't the ones making it. We've opened Pandora's box, and now it's going to get scary. Most countries nowadays have some sort of AI integrated into their CCTV cameras that are found literally everywhere. In Australia, we have cameras on every corner. It's not too long until we get a social credit system here, which will be powered by AI algorithms. Or hey, this video. This video was recommended to you by an AI algorithm that is engineered engineered by YouTube. Every application we use is literally forcing you to watch content that it believes you're gonna like and fuck, I mean, it does a pretty good job of it if you're here, I guess. We even have AI generated art winning competitions. You think artists and graphic designers are happy with their art degrees and student loans knowing that you can prompt an AI to create better art than they can ever hope to make? You think admin and service people are happy knowing their jobs are going to be taken away by chatbots and this new ChatGPT 4.0 voice assistants? Do you think it's a coincidence that birth rates are decreasing everywhere in the Western world while at the same time we have ads for AI girlfriends and stories of people marrying their AI partners? This is the start of the end as we know it. We have the wars in Ukraine, Russia, Israel, Lebanon, and Gaza. These wars are just showing how new AI autonomous weapons are going to be used. Drones will literally be roaming around cities looking for criminals instead of police officers. And you aren't getting any sympathy if they find you. They told you that AI was going to create new opportunities, but that's a lie. They told you that life is easier than it's ever been before, but that's a lie. If this technology isn't put in check, we will see millions of middle class people out of a job, out of a house, and on the street. Hmm, sounds like... San Francisco. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. 
We will see huge spike in addictions as people try to fill their emptiness with drugs, gambling, and pornography. You can't simply eliminate the labor force without introducing replacement jobs. And with VR getting more and more real every year, we will be living in the matrix well before we open our eyes to change direction. Yeah. I mean, look at Japan, China, and Korea. These countries are facing immense economic pressure. They are some of the loneliest countries in the world where you can't even save a dime. You spend all your money on food, rent, and small enjoyments like massages from 60 year old ladies and some drinks to numb your loneliness. They are countries that focus a majority of their time on careers instead of family due to these economic pressures. They are countries that once had strict gender roles, but as life became more expensive, women had to start acting like men and now no one wants to play the role of raising children. Sounds familiar, right? Oh, and these are the countries that are pushing AI the furthest out of anyone. We will have our jobs replaced by AI. We will have our media controlled by AI. We will have relationships with AI. We will own nothing and be happy. Hmm. Sounds pretty familiar, right? Do you really think that there is a positive to AI when the end goal of these companies is to literally make you fat, lazy, and dumb so that you become complacent with the dystopia you live in? We are becoming livestock for these corporations and these corporations will eventually be autonomously run by AI. Some fun facts. In America, a little over 42% of people are obese. The IQ scores of people are dropping steadily every year and homelessness is now at the highest point in history. Does this sound like the best time to be alive? Oh my God! You're fed horse shit every day with no proper alternative for safe, healthy food. Technology is moving too fast for you to catch up so you get dumber. Your jobs are being replaced by AI. I don't know, man. As much as I want kids, I'm starting to understand this new movement of not wanting your kids to go through this hell that we're being forced to live in by the people in power. So where does that leave us? We're at the point where AI is changing everything fast. It brings cool new things, but also big problems. The power of AI is clear and it's growing quickly. We need strong rules to keep AI safe and fair for everyone. We should support education and training programs to help people whose jobs are affected by AI and find them new work. The future of AI shouldn't be decided only by big companies or government, but by all of us thinking about how it affects our lives and what world we want to live in. In the end, it's all up to us to guide AI in the right direction. So let's not wait until it's too late. But that will never happen. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you like to swallow cut.